Hello and welcome to a new tutorial on Retool. Retool recently released new components to create graphics, which is incredible because the old component to create graphics was difficult to understand. It was um, not friendly for people who are not developers and even for developers, it was difficult. But now they have released new components. Uh, it is in a private beta version and i'm going to test them so i'm going to show you how easy it is for people like us who are not developers to create beautiful forms beautiful graphics sorry and uh, so i'm just going to show you what what it is and what i was able to do in about 15 minutes All right let's dive in okay so if you look at the components uh, uh, in the virtual user interface now for the bit for those who are in the beta you search graph before you only have this one data graph and it was difficult to understand the data to do what you needed to you had plotly json where you had all of this code which is difficult to understand and if you wanted to modify the the labels that the colors it was just very difficult now they have released all of these different graphs so you can have a heat map you can see how it can, I think I read this could upset up to a million points. Um, Sankey chart. So it's really, really, there's a lot of them. So you can actually produce so many type of graphs, which seems really, really amazing. Sunburst. So right now I will just show you Actually, you actually can see that it already automatically created a Sankey demo data, <clears throat> and it shows you how what the steps and what the data should be and how to structure it, which is also very, really helpful. I will delete this now. So I'm just going to show you how I created this. So basically, it's a combined combined graph, which where I have total invoice per month and then how much was paid is the green line. And then how many unique clients I have per month, which is the yellow dots. To be honest, I wouldn't even know where to start in Excel if I had to do this. Um, but it really took me not a lot. So let me see. So here on the left, I have three queries, a total invoice, uh, which I'm just taking from my, from my database, the total, the status, the date, and then I'm ex ex I'm extracting the month. I really wouldn't need the date, but I just had it there. And then I just filter by year. And then I have another one for those who are paid, which is basically the same information. And then I have another one where I'm just getting the date, the month, and then how many companies, unique companies there are, there's a count. So three queries, very simple. I could get my information from there. And let's see how I did this. So I'm just going to go and create an ad, a graph. And I found the combined, this should be here. Where is it? Do, 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 bar mixed chart, not combined, which is mixed. Right. So you can see by default, it adds some information so you can see how it does it. So what I'll do now here is I'll go to my bar, the data source, I will put total invoice. You can see that it automatically changes and reads the data and adds whether you need to format data as object or not, which is really helpful. I actually noticed that I have a, a habit of formatting my <clears throat> queries as an array, as, a, as arrays, so when it does, when it is structured like this, it will formatting them as object. Whereas when I don't format them as an array, but in this, it won't add that. So it seems to prefer this kind of structure. All right. So here I will add a sum. So I'm summing them. Right now it's just not looking really nice because I have, let's, let's just remove this. I will remove this too here, right? So now that makes more sense. So here on my X, X data, I will add month. So you can see now I have the months on the X and then invoice total. Seems, that seems to be working there. 
and then the y-axis is the left y-axis you can have two axes on the left and on the right for now it's on on the left and then when you hover you can see it shows you the month the title you can see here the hover it's y x and series name the series name will be total invoiced and then so you will see total invoiced and what i'll do is i'll remove the um so I don't want X correct. So I don't see the month because it's quite obvious. So, and then you can change color really easy. So I could put the success or I could just put my primary color and then the created brilliant. So now I have that and then that's it. I will do that same for, for the other ones. I will put a line, which is total paid. It automatically um, had month and invoice, which is really nice. And then I can see that the line is now different. And I'm not sure why, um, but you can see it line with dot solid line shape. Oh, there you go. Would it be as planned? Yes, which it has all of these options, HV, DH. So, you can see it's really easy to change that. So I will just put it back to spine and then I'll change the color to success. And then I will, uh, I'm not sure why I'm not seeing the dots, but show markers and data points. There you go, circle and we could make it make them bigger. It's a 10 and then they will be also on the color of success. So you can see how easy it is to edit um, my, all of this uh, graphs and stuff and then finally what i'll do is the one which is a scatter and this will be clients and this will be total clients oh and actually here did i change it the total invoice total paid oh there you go so now you can see I changed the total paid and it and it's getting giving you an error because um, because of this the format data as object. So if I just remove them and then change it back, total paid, total clients, total paid, you can see now it's giving me issues, total clients. Oh, because of of so I will put here month. And then I will put here invoice total. So that's why it's kind of giving me issues. There you go. And then for the last one is clients. So it's the same. Basically what I'll do is you can see here how this is structured. Um, oh, it's, it's referring it to the, as the name. So it's gonna be total clients the month Brilliant. and then total clients company count honey count okay total clients company count total clients is it data day month yes so data company count there you go but now it's going right on the bottom because of the axis so i'm just going to put the right right axis brilliant i'll change the color to yellow and then what we'll do is all of these lines so we'll go to the y-axis and just not show the grid lines and the right y-axis not show the grid lines and that's it and then how do I show legend? I can put the legend here. There you go. And I can, I think for each of this, I can put, yeah, this is going to be month. And then this is, oops, the Y. This is going to be total. And this is going to be clients. And there you go. So now I've created this graph with three different data sets, coloring them, um, 
changing the, the, the assets, the names, and it was really, really, really easy. It took me less than 10 minutes to do it. Um, right, so I invite you to, I will put the link in the description box for the link in the forum where you can actually submit the form so that you can add it to this beta. I um, would love to hear more of your comments and things that I could try to, to do in, in, in graphs. I will look to explore more of these graphs which seems pretty exciting to be doing stuff. Do give me a like if this was helpful and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it. Cheers.